Oh, oh dear. Video's not there yet. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to put it in the Creative Family Group. Hello Trish, how are you? This one's right in this one's right up your alley, Trish. Hello Dee, how are you? I saw you were pretty excited about today or tonight's collection. Hello, Beck. And we How are you? Hello, Paula and Sandy and Mary and Deborah and Karen and Diana. Hello, everybody. Okay, so if you have found this in the Creative Family Group or the April Class Subscription Group, um, just be aware that you need to click on the video so you can comment on the video and see and we can see your comments. If you just comment on the post in the Creative Family Group or the April class group, um, we actually won't see your post. You actually need to click on the video so it goes to the video. Hello, Carol and Michelle and Joanne and Sandra and Gail. Uh, yes, this is what I thought. So excited. Yep, 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 yep. I know, poppies are great, aren't they? Okay, so the new collection is Poppies. Hello, Cheryl. Hello, Diane. Hello, Cheryl. Hello, Re. Rightio. So this is paper one. So it's another 11 inch by 8 inch or 8 by 11 collection like last weekend's um, Easter Blessings. Now this kit is now sold out for the moment. But when cards, when the new card stock arrives, it'll come back in again. Hello, Raquel and Diana. How are you? Okay. So this is paper one. So this is sort of similar to what was on one of the sold out papers in Redwood Farm, but it's different. It's really punched up to go with this. It doesn't have any of the lightness. Um, similar but different. Um, so that's paper one, and this wood's a little different. And then you've got paper two with the leaf fussy cuts and the green. Great for matting photos. And this is, so we already had poppies. We actually already had this. So notice how the vellum's like a little more orange than the red of the paper. It's just how the production goes. Red is a very finicky colour to produce. So we already had this product. So you can see that these are a lot smaller um, on the print. On paper two. And then paper three isn't half fussy cuts. It's the full sheet of fussy cuts. They're quite big. And then it's got this all over poppies print. I made um yeah and then we have so we already had this vellum so the vellum is a little bit different and we've also got the tiny poppies in the vellum so the vellum is a bit more orange but this one is then we have the all over poppies and the timber. So we have them. Let's turn this one 
We have those. Now we already had um, in camo print, we had a rice paper. We now have, because it kind of coordinates and goes, we now also have the, so uh, this is based on the Australian cam print, Australian army cam print. <coughs> I did draw all of these. So I have drawn my own and made it as my own repeating pattern, a seamless repeating pattern. So I've also made a flare button in the Australian print because we had like a more of an American style camo print previously in our online store. So the camo prints now in rice paper, vellum and a flare button as well. Because Poppies is kind of like Anzac and the issue with calling it Anzac is that we needed to make sure that it was for all soldiers of all forces, not just Anzacs. So then in the rice paper, we've got the red watercolour and the timber. Ah, thank you, Lee. Collection. I'm so excited. Awesome. One saying they're in love, Jacqueline and Trisha. Hello, Marie. Hello, Jacqueline. Thank you, Diane. You're all um, you're all pretty awesome. So we've got um, the red board colour and the timber in rice paper, and then we've got the all over poppies in a rice paper, and then we've got this one which is like in a rice paper. So we've got our wreath. We've got some borders that you can use and some really big poppies. Red is a very difficult colour to print. So then in, let's not do that one. Let's do the, the fussy cut vellum. We've got poppies and we've got leaves and, and the leaves also come with the seed pods. Now these are small. I'd leave a border around these. Probably not. I always do something not for the faint of heart. And then we've got fussy cut essentials that are the same too. Or similar. There we go. I want to do on this side or a slightly different colour. But I think that's a size thing. I think it's that particular one down there. Uh, I also have... So we already had a um, Poppy's colour cuts, which I forgot to get a set made for me to bring home to show you tonight. But we now have the flowers, leaves and words. So all of this is in the online store. This is a prototype packet. Not necessarily. Um, just needs to be trimmed a little bit, see. So sometimes when you get them, we use this efficiency setting. It takes longer. It's meant to cut better, but sometimes it leaves little bits in the corners. And I know I some of you. Or what's that? I do bow and scissors. Yes. Sometimes we miss a bit. We do try and fix it all up. Uh, I think it was like 48 pieces in this. Caroline's one of our cutting machines. So there you go. And some words. And it's so the black in these words, it's not a black black, it's the black from the center of the poppies. So I've actually sampled the poppies for the colour. So that's the poppy colour cuts. Ava loves the poppies and she thinks you are so clever for making them. Oh, thank you, Ava. Thank you, Karen. They are very accurately cut, yes. To get that accuracy. Oh, geez, it's the home phone. I worry when the home phone rings, it's only for the grandparents. We only have a home phone for the grandparents to ring us on. And it just stresses the bejeebus out of me. 
Thank you, Pam. Thank you. I've spent all day. Oh, and on great news. So the construction work is done. We just now have to paint. We just have to paint. Uh, thank you, Debbie. Hello, Heather. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Raquel. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you, Deborah and Ree. Hello, Debbie. Oh, I think I might have said hello to Debbie. Okay, so this is the free flare that comes with a paper pack. Oh, so like our other 8-inch by 11-inch collection, these papers are $1.35 each. Pattern papers are $1.35 each. And you get three of each of the three papers in the paper pack plus the free flare button for $10.95. And then we've got the single wood. And a poppy. What's going on, Nay? Are they going to sleep over? And then there's a pack of three patterns. So we've got the green off paper two, and then the all over poppy print, and then the, the other original poppy print we've had the whole time. And then I grabbed an Anzac word and Australia and some of our open poppy picture cards. So let's get to my mat. So I have fussy cut some of the leaves, a few of the leaves from paper two, and I fussy cut the whole of a sheet of paper three. And you can see I didn't leave white. Madness, I know. But they're not hard. These are just straight line, straightish lines. Amelia's gone for a sleepover at Nana Gems. They did one of them before lunch tomorrow, and I said no because of grandma. And I said she needs to be back after lunch on Sunday. Yes, because she's got to get her uniforms ready for Monday. Yeah. I've already got uniforms in my closet. Yeah, but you need to get all your gear yeah, ready. Okay, so before we start class, let's just. I'm going to do a quick show of what we did this week. So we did that page. And this card with beautiful family in the April class group. I'm looking forward to working with these. My head will be challenged, but I see lots of ideas. Yep. Yep, yep. I yeah. I I think they're gonna be easy to use. I think they're gonna be a uh, yeah. I think they're gonna be great. I, I, I think these are really gonna be good papers, especially if you're doing something like a um so if you're doing an album like if I would like to put an album together with the bits that I know of my grandfather's um, military career and his brothers. So my grandfather has uh, three brothers and two of them um, joined the army as well. Um, my granddad joined fairly young, but he was already a father. So he was a parent at 16. So, um, yeah. Hello, Quentin. Uh, we hope he gets better soon. Yeah, uh, Marie's dad's not Oh, yeah, I hope he's feeling better soon. Oh, yeah, I do. The phone is just for the grandparents and it worries me. Oh, and all the telemarketers, because where would we be? Oh, where would we be without our telemarketers? Okay, so I've got a piece of craft card stock. We've got all our bits and bobs. And I do have some photos to pick from. I've got this one. That's Milton. And I've got this one. That's Milton. <laughs> that's when he was in Cubs. And I've got this one and that's Milton. Yeah. And then I've got the flags. And I've got this one. That's Milton. Just so you know, that's all. And I've got the Cenotaph. And, oh, there's more of Milton. So that's Milton there. Milton is um, a trumpeter, but that's him playing his corner. Which he was gifted by um, a relative of ours. So, um, the corner's probably worth more than a small car. Well, a second hand. 
Cornet. He has his cornet. So we have the trumpet and the cornet is um, with him in Brisbane and he has it on his insurance. So he allows his cornet. I think that one. Uh, oh, what's, oh, I missed her. Oh, wow, I just joined. Loving what I can see. My mum's nickname is Poppy because she was born on the 11th of November. Oh, wow. That's so beautiful. Let's run with Milton. <laughs> You're probably not. I think I'm going to do the Senator. Raquel says it's perfect for scout photos. Oh, it's great um, for scout photos. And this year is That's Michelle's daughter's um, first. Oh, wow. Yeah. That would be so wonderful, Michelle. So, so wonderful. Uh, and we'll talk so long. It's, it'll be a rejigging the cogs. A lot of the purpose, Deborah, is that we don't you necessarily use a whole sheet of paper. Like when we create, we just cut a bit down and we whack a bit on. Like it's so that we can just re, yeah, it is a rethinking of how we do things. So I'm thinking. And go and see if you found a, um, a 8 by 11 album and a stash. Perfect. Awesome. Just trying to get page protectors. Um, I've actually got page protectors I've paid for quite a few weeks ago and we're trying to find out what they've done with them. Postage isn't really reliable, to be honest. What do we do with them? I just know. want to know where those military photos are. These ones? With Dad, she's asking what cues military photos are. Uh, we have a few... Um, we have a few. We don't have a lot. We actually don't have many. Um, because his family didn't turn up for his graduation or marching out in Victoria from apprentice school, we don't have any photos from that. We have a couple of photos, and I do steal photos. When any of the boys share photos from back in the day on their Raimi group, and if anyone shares photos that they've got, I usually I usually do grab those when, when someone shares photos on Facebook because we just don't have a lot. I have a few but not many. I have some when he was 16 that um, his mum's boyfriend at the time took. Yeah, Dad says not many photos. Not many. We don't have many photos at all. We, I do make do with what I can. Um, so you've got one sheet already of the Poppies 8, I mean Poppies 2 and Poppies 3 for the fussy cutting. No, I've got, I'm going to have one sheet of poppy one. Oh, yeah. Two and three. For the plastic cutting, yep. And then you've got number one as the red for the photo map. Yep. I'm going to use a bit of timber and a bit of red. So we're going to use, yep. Okay, let's mat our photo. So there's a there's a white line down the edge of my photo here. I'm just gonna stick a tiny bit up. So I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna cut a four and a quarter by six and a quarter, and I'm gonna do it from this end with the fussy cutting here. So I'm gonna do a four and a quarter inch by six and a quarter. So Poppies is our 25th collection, which is pretty, we thought it was pretty cool today when we realised that our 25th collection is Poppies, which is sort of Anzac Army commemorative type. We thought that was pretty awesome. So... So let's cut the timber part of paper one to six inches. 
like that. So I'm going to do a page tonight that, so last week when we did our page with Easter Blessings, we did sort of like pieces, like made sort of like a patchwork kind of page almost. Um, what's this one? Really? Six by? By the, by the eight. So it's a six by eight. That piece is six by eight. And then we'll use this piece. So I think we need a big bit of green here. So from our green from paper number two, we're going to cut like a three inch by four inch piece and then I'm going to do some flaggy things so don't kind of fold it but kind of sort of almost fold it Yeah, I just thought 25 and 25 was pretty cool. So then from the other side, I'm going to cut a two inch by three inch piece. Then what we're going to do is we're going to cut the middle out of our photo mat. Not with those. Cut the middle out of our photo mat. I want to show you how simple it is to use the paper. And just to get it done, because a lot of these pages can be quite emotional, I know. And we're going to get it done and enjoy the process. And we're not going to hoard the product. So let's just neaten this up a bit and let's just cut a, an inch and a half by two and three quarter inch don't die on my um, piece. I'm going to make another little flaggy bit. The, so the goal, one of our biggest goals, so the biggest, most important goal with producing our own product, other than ensuring that you guys have the choice to buy Australian product, product manufactured, designed and manufactured right here in Australia, is that it's not to be hoarded. It's product that's easy to use. It's easily used. Is it 225? Sorry, we're just she's building a kit as we go. It's it's easy to use and it's not the kind of paper you feel inclined to just collect and hoard and do you know what I mean? Like we just we want you to be able to use the product easily. And not feel that it's too hard or too precious to to make a project with. I really feel I need to cover up that. I 
I want to have it like that, but I want to do it more like sort of flower. I got all these ones with the stalky bits. Let's put them over there. I'm not just snipping the stalks off. It is just not mm. going to happen. I'm not sniffing them off. I'm just not. I think that looks weird. I think what we need to do is do like flowers. Let's get the colour guys. Mammy John hates it when I put um I just remember what when I put um, colour cuts in um, kits. Look, hate's a strong word. What's it? I just mutually wonder if it was necessary. But it always is. Because it just ties the page together. Mm, maybe not. So what if I use leaves from the colour cuts and then flowers from paper one? Have we already done fuzzy things from the paper one? Are we going to use a second piece of paper one? Uh, no, no. What we're going to do is we're just going to cut the stalks off these. Are they from paper two? No, paper three. I've already used stuff from paper three, so I'm just going to cut the stalks off. I said I wouldn't, but I'm going to. Why I bothered to cut them out now? I don't know. I'm not going to decapitate my wreath, but I will draw the line at decapitating the wreath. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's another one seed pods right should put that over there okay and then we'll put some more of these around more leaves like around okay so I think it needs some flicking on the background I think I think in black So you don't need to have golden. Golden's like very high end. You know, this is heavy body golden. This is like. What would be some of the other paints you would choose? I would just use the Montmartre Black. I was going to say. Just pay $2.50 for a tube of Montmartre Black. You don't. Yeah, this is. 
this is like a twenty thirty dollar chip. You don't need expensive paint for this. Um, acrylic is acrylic is acrylic. Mm -hmm. Karen L says the stems would make a great messy style nest. Yes, they would. They would make a great little nest. I think I'm going to give them to my friend over there, to, you know, for her to do something with. So I'm going to put that there and then let's get a paintbrush. Oh, let's use the fan brush. Add some water. So our picture was here, and we were here. So then we want a little bit here. Oh, geez, that's a bit big. So you're just sort of sitting there. So don't sort of flip down like that. Because, like, you don't want lines. I've got a little bit too much paint. And then we really want to get a couple of big dots. We want a couple of really big dots. So see how I'm scooping up the paint? Right. Uh, Can I get you to wash this out, please? Yeah. Sure, shows the page is looking amazing. Today? She got sidetracked. I'm trying to get everything. Oh, my pad's gone. I'm just getting the cloth that I've been cleaning up with lately. So, black paint. You have to be careful when crafting with black paint. It will get everywhere. And if you get a little bit on your arm, it will get everywhere. It will just multiply and migrate. Oh no, that's pretty cool. I'm going to set that aside to dry. Check our hands. There's no black paint to get on any of our stuff. My paint's dying. Oh, yeah. So let's stick our photo to our photo mat. So all my photos used to have before my photo hard drive collapsed have the date I took the photo on the back so I have uh, actually this is not the digital SLR I have now it's the old one and I've had the one I've got for a really really long time probably um, this is probably just before my old one died um, you don't need me in the picture you got me in the picture. I'm going to put foam on the back of this photo. Two thousand eleven, that's a while ago. Just, just a bit of the time ago. Okay, so let's put tape on the back 
of our pieces. So we got on the back of our piece of timber, on the back of our flaggy bits. So Mammy Johnny's making a kit. So what have you got so far? You got a piece of paper two, a piece of paper three, piece of paper one, piece of paper one, a piece of craft, craft uh, the colour pack, pack the, and the flare, and currently we are up to eleven dollars. Oh, I was just talking to myself. Okay, while that dries, let's do a bit of building over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just stick these two to stick our piece on. And we're sort of coming down three quarters of an inch and in like three quarters of an inch. Don't dye it, my pad. Actually, we're going to edit that. In half an inch and down just over an inch. I just didn't want to see a little tiny bit of the timber and the bee here. And just use your different lines to help you get things straight. So that was our two inch wide one and this one's an inch and a half. Just guesstimating. I'll peel that off and stick it on there. So with our flowers and things, what we're going to look for is what's going to be our big, you know, our statement piece, like our feature, our feature flower. See, that doesn't really show up very well. But if we do this, that looks way better. So let's use this big one. On foam down here as our feature flower and then up in the corner here let's have one of these front facing ones up here a little bit of foam like that so we know that we've got to put What if we put like a big fussy cut leaf and then a and then a, a color cut one, sort of like that. So they're sort of let's do that. And then our remember word. So we're a little bit late with our May kits. Um, we actually don't have our bags. So our bags were sent overnight express from Brisbane on Tuesday. Because when we started the week, we had almost enough bags, but we did a lot of kits over Easter. So, yeah, we thought, oh, Quentin went, I'll order bags. And he went today, and he knows where the bags are. The bags are in the cage at the depot, the freight depot, but the lady wouldn't get them out. She said we just had to wait until they were ready. 
to release our freight. So we're going to get as many kits out as we can. We've got enough to get most of the people out. But yes, we're just running a little bit behind. But now that we're, all we've got to do is paint in our renovation, we're going to go good. Bloody oh. Okay, I haven't been able to see comments for a while, Naomi. Um, they're all in awe at the moment. They're just watching your work. Oh, I hope so. Because I've been, I've had no, the stems would make, oh yeah. Order done, order done. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you everyone that orders from us too. We do a bit more than a happy dance when you guys order. It's, it's pretty exciting. Okay. Without letting the heat tool go near our photograph, I'm just going to hold it up because I just... dry for a second I like to just stop heating and then heat and stop heating and that sort of thing yeah it does it actually helps a lot if you leave it to dry as much as you can Oh yeah, I am pretty determined that this Sunday we are not going to work. I do have to work from home. I have to do um, the weekly email because on Monday I am at a specialist in Bundaberg, um, balance specialist this time. Uh, oh, look at that. Isn't that just enough? It's like... Just enough. You know what? This iPad's driving me nuts. You know that watching a video on Facebook takes this more power than a fast charger can put in. But yeah, I am determined not to go to work on Sunday. <laughs> I am pretty determined. Okay, so let's stick our grouping or cluster onto our page so when you build something like this you have to be really careful that you 
are mindful to stay within the parameters of the page. I have built something like this and gone, oh, I really love that, and it's too big to go on the page. Yeah, we'll do it all the time. Okay. So I'm going to leave about two inches in from the side and probably about one and three quarter down from the top. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to going to Bundaberg on Monday. Uh, it's sad because we don't obviously get to see Grandma anymore when we go to Bundaberg. But Quentin and I get to spend the day in the car together and we chat and we work things out. We've got so much going on at work. We really need to plan some stuff. Got a lot of awesome stuff on the way, hence the construction stuff, construction work. And we, I married a diesel fitter, not a carpenter. I married a carpenter's son, but I did not marry a carpenter, I can tell you that. So, yeah, we've both been doing the work. If you've been watching our reels and story that Na stories that Naomi John does, you'll have seen that we've both been um, doing the construction work. So let's stick this one in here but we want to stick it so that you can see all three parts of that one behind look at that beautiful let's cool that up a bit oh, yeah. are we thinking about any, adding anything else to this page or i don't know just give me a break I'm just asking for some i know i'm trying to make it nice and simple and doable and so people don't hoard the paper I do not want you to buy this paper and not use it. I really want to see you all use the paper. It's not for um, stashing. None of our product is for just buying and keeping. Even our kits are all made so that you can easily use them. Okay. So let's look at our pieces. So let's put one of these whole ones that we had up there here. Let's cut a bit off it. And we'll tuck it there. You can't get it in close enough, just sort of snip a bit off. We're also in good luck with the specialist. Yeah. Just gotta teach my brain that I'm well. That the infection is gone and it is time to move on. Is your sister in bed? No. Did you just realise that? Um, Trish wants to know if there's any news on Dimensional Magic. No. I hate this computer. I have heard that there is a store that's got some Dimensional Magic, but... I'm not sure if it's new stock or not because the company that owns Dimensional Magic, they told us that they were not making it anymore. That um, my best bet was to find some old stock somewhere. <laughs> I told them that wasn't really a viable option. But yes, they're not making it anymore. Yes, um... The in, uh, Kudus Farm Retreat. Uh, oh, yes. Online. Meant to be um, booked and paid for today. I got all about, I forgot to tell Quentin all about that.
Yeah, so it's still glossy accents. We're still, um, there is some big bottles. We've got little bottles currently. There's big bottles of glossy accents on their way. I don't have a tracking number yet, but I should have a tracking number by tomorrow morning. Um, but yes, we definitely have um, big bottles of glossy accents on the way. So this is a big colour cut leaf. Did Dad put the dishwasher on before he left? Yeah, Dad, I didn't know I got it done. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. I didn't think Noah would have done it. He had very little to do with it. Crikey, I was supposed to get Amelia ready for bed at 7.30. This one, this is a colour cut, a fussy cut leaf. Um, pretty sure the order on its way has got crocodiles in it too, because I think I owe one to D still. And scissors. Mm. More scissors coming. Rightio. Sorry I'm not telling you which bits I'm putting places. I'm sort of getting a bit into the groove here. Now that flare button's not stuck down, so let's stick it down. Oops, I like it there. Okay. I'm glad you're doing well, Pam. Hmm. I know that doesn't sound great. You might have to go. I'm having a bit of issue trying to find this. What'd you do? Put a photo on the laptop? I'm trying to get the photo actually into like the class on the, on the product. Yeah. And this is my best attempt. I'm ready to throw something. So I've got um, a seed pod, a little closed bud. I've got another closed bud. This is really yeah, not that one. Another closed bud. And another closed bud. And I've got a Partially open bud and another seed pod and a big colour cut leaf. And I'm going to put foam behind all of those so I can just stick a whole heap of things down.
And this is just how simple it is to use the product, like not just keep the product in your stash, to actually use the product to um Oh that's cool. Hopefully you get a good report like I did when I went and saw my specialist the other week. A couple of weeks ago. So, so far for this kit, we have used, and correct me if I'm wrong, one sheet of Poppy's Paper 1, yep. one sheet of Poppy's Paper 2, one sheet of Poppy's Paper 3, a piece of craft cardstock as the background, Yep. the Poppy's colour cuts um, with the Poppy's leaves and words one, not the other one, mm -hmm. and the exclusive Poppy's Reef Flare. Yeah, the one that only comes with the paperback. The one that only comes with the paperback, yeah. Is that all correct? Oh, yeah. I wonder if we put... So see this flower here. I wonder if we put it here on foam and get like a double layer thing. So we've got a flat layer behind and a layer in front on top. Like this. Hi, it's double target. I like um, that. So you get a bit down and a bit there. We've got a, um, that's $11.20, mum. You're joking. Uh, no, I'm not. Oh, well. Do you want to have you said goodnight? No. No, not yet. Are you happy for that one to go live? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, and balls on. Oh, okay. Sorry you're missing your shot. Oh, that's okay. I'm sure you're not that sorry. I am sorry, thank you. You sound a bit sarcastic. And no. I'm a little happy that I got to see all of it. Oh, a quarter. Maybe. It's just the beginning. Uh, these already saying goodnight, Amelia, which means that that's been a bit hint, Amelia. Hint. That's a hint you're meant to say goodnight, aren't you? Yeah. No, no. Um, Deborah says that she needs to go shopping because she's got too many photos to even think of. She's got museums, Australian war memorials, etc., etc. And Liz on the tube says very nice. Whoa. And Trish and Dee and Karen Schultz all think it's an amazing page. Yeah, it's April. Yeah, 25th of April. Mum's birthday, but it's not Mum's birthday until after Anzac Parade after dawn service and Anzac Parade, is it? Mm. Don't do Mum's birthday until after that. Okay, you guys say another? Your page, right? Oh, I think I'm just about finished. Good night, hello, goodbye. <laughs> you would just lay there, wouldn't you? Uh, She's a bit tired. Come on, you want to go to sleep, I guess, tomorrow night? I want so how much was the kit? $11.20. Oh, $11. Quick drop in to say hi. Hello, Chloe. How are you? Carol said night. Dee said night. Hi, hi. No, there we go. Do we need? I think it's pretty cool. We've got green, green, green. The timber balances nicely. A little bit of black here and here. There we go. What do we think? So that's that cluster. So you can do your screenshots for when you get your kit and put it together. Deborah said night. Pam said night. Marie did. Michelle said good night, darling girl. Nanny Dye said night. Reese said night. 
Um, Chloe said good night. And I've lost my comments. And Jacqueline said good night with a picture. And then this is the bottom one here. Where's Leslie? Leslie needs to be watching this one. Here we go. I love how the poppy pictures have got so much dimension. Love, love, love how it turned out. Cool page. It just, I got a little bit of buckle because I hit my page. It just turned out well. Diana said night. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Raquel. Thank you, everybody. Um, thank you, Chloe. Thank you. Thank you all. Um, but that's how easy it is to, yeah. So it, there's a lot on there, but there's nothing superfluous that doesn't mean something or have a purpose. The point is to make sure you use enough that it doesn't look sparse but it sort of sits beautifully on the page i know it, um, i know it's hard but you know it comes with practice as well but it's yeah it works <laughs> i'm trying to explain myself um, but yeah, you can tell a story with the page and still have the photo as the star and all these other bits here are like the backup dancers. They're the backup singers and they just help the, um, the photo do its thing. But this lovely paper to use and, um, yeah, you do need quite a few. Like, we've got quite a few flowers on here. One, two, three, four up here and one, two, three, four down here. And we've got one, two, three, four buds here and one up there. So you do need quite a bit. And layering the leaves on each other works as well to get that depth going. Thank you, Carol. Oh, look, she's got a picture of me creating. Um, thank you, Trish and Jacqueline. And... I love the tea. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Marie. Thank you, Diana. So thank you all for coming along. Can't wait to use the papers. Just went shopping. Okay. I don't know if Noah will be thanking you tomorrow, but that's his stick bigger rose. That's his job. I think I'll have to help him. Although I'll be painting sometime tomorrow. Making kits, finishing off kits. Um, so tomorrow morning we're going to have our weekly roundup. And then Sunday morning, we sometime Sunday morning, after we have a sleep in, a much needed sleep in, we will be doing our May kit reveal. Um, invoices will go out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. they, I was going to do it today, but I didn't get around to it. Invoices will go out tomorrow for your May kits and subscriptions. Um, if you want to come off the list, you've got to message me tonight. If you want to be added to the list, if you message me tonight. Um, what else is there? I think that's about it. But we'll see you tomorrow morning. And thank you for coming along to class. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget we are back tomorrow at some time in the morning. Yes, weekly roundup tomorrow morning. Night, Mary. Um, thank you, Cheryl. And thank you for coming along. Thank you, everyone that came along. If I didn't say hello, hello. Um, if you left a lovely comment, thank you. And if you have any questions, just, yeah, you can always message us. Yes. Take care. Stay safe. Night, D. Night, Raquel. Night, Jacqueline. So um, I love you all. We really do appreciate you all. You're all so wonderful. Um, thank you for coming along and sharing your time and your evening with us. And um, we will see you in the morning for Weekly Roundup. Thank you. Take care. Bye.